Hello everyone, this is Kaiva. For Koreans, there are two images that come to our mind about Britain. First, British gentlemen. Second, ladies first. Why is the image of Britain the British gentlemen and ladies first? The reason is the love story between the British sailor and Korean girl in the year of 1885. Since 1885, Britain illegally occupied Gomundo, a small island of Korea, in order to fight back against Russia. The British army called Gomundo the Port Hamilton. The island consisted of three parts. About 800 British sailors stayed in the island. In the past, Asian Confucianism looked down on women. There might have been many reasons, but it's because many dynasties collapsed when a woman took the power. Because the dynasty was destroyed as the king lost his head over a woman. And woman was thought to be too powerful. The bottom line is, it is the men who conquer the world, but it's the women who conquer the men. The British Navy, which occupied the small Korean island, did not discriminate women. They sometimes led the islanders to work. And when they paid daily wages, they gave money to the ladies first. When they distributed tinned food, it was ladies first. And when they showed the people around the battleship, it was also ladies first. Koreans could not understand what the British was saying. However, they understood one thing. It was ladies first, ladies first, ladies first. Even the Koreans who don't speak English are aware of one English sentence. It is ladies first. If a fire breaks out or dangerous events happen, Koreans let the women escape first. Asia, including Korea, Asia's Confucian culture has a principle. It is to ignore the martial arts and to worship the literary arts. It was the system of literary arts dominating the military arts. In other words, the military officials with sword were ignored and people who held pens were admired. However, the British sailors who held swords and guns were gentle just like the people who held pens. It was an island, so the ground was rugged and there were many stones. There were not much soil. A lot of labor was required to make the military port. They were occupying the island and they could use all the people like slaves, but they never did. They put them to work and paid the price. One day, the British army was going through gunfire drills. And then the islanders' dogs took flight to the mountain in fright. Then the British sailors mobilized their dogs to find the islanders' dogs and returned the dogs. This is the picture which was taken to commemorate this. In general, soldiers are rough. However, the British soldiers who occupied the island didn't make any trouble. The British sailors represented Britain. This is the reason why Koreans called the British, British gentlemen. British sailors were lonely. A sailor loved a Korean girl. One day, a gunpowder accident happened in the British troop. Several people died along with the sailor who loved the girl. It was the girl who grieved most for the sailor's death. In the past, in Confucianism, if their parents or husband died, people didn't seek pleasure for three years. It was on their own initiative. The girl went to the sailor's tomb every day for three years and took care of it. Other sailors tried to console her, but she only missed the dead sailor for three years and she died of disease while taking care of the tomb. About two years later, the British Navy negotiated with Russia and withdrew from Komundo, that is Port Hamilton. What's left over was just the tombs of the British sailors who died of the gunpowder accident 
and especially the tomb of the sailor whom the girl loved. Island is full of stones. The tomb of the British sailors had to be moved since it was occupying good land, which was appropriate for farm work. However, the islanders wanted to soothe the soul of the young British sailors, just like the dead island girl took care of the tomb of the 17-year-old British sailor. So they decided to preserve the tomb. Today, more than 120 years later, the sailors' tombs are preserved. In 2004, the English ambassador made a goodwill visit to middle school in Komundo, which is called the Port Hamilton in English. At present, people who visit the island visit the British sailors' tomb for sure. The most important checkpoint is the tomb of the British sailors. Because the island is a historical and educational tourist spot. The good culture that Britain spread to the small island was flashed over Korea. For Koreans, the words that come up to our mind regarding Britain are ladies first and British gentlemen. The country of the society where the women and children are protected is a true civilized nation. This was Skyva and see you in the next video. God bless you.